this old song to fit my experience of the Darby Ram. You know, they say if you drink enough juice boxes and prowl around the town, you'll see the Darby Ram. And that's what I did. And this supposedly was George Washington's favorite song. It's how old it is. The legend. And I'll tell you all about him. As I was going to Darby all on a market day, I met the biggest ram, my boys, that ever was fed on hay. He had four feet to walk upon, four feet on which to stand. Every time he opened his mouth, every time he took a step, rather, he covered an acre of land. And indeed, my lads, it's true, my lads, I never was known to lie. If you'd been in Darby, you'd have seen him the same as I. Now, you want to hear about his horns? Because rams have horns, right? You're not going to believe how big this ram's horns were. One horn on this ram's head, my boys, it grew so very long. Every time he shook himself, it rattled against the sun. The other horn on this ram's head, it reached up to the moon. A little girl went up in January, and she didn't get down till June. And indeed, my lads, it's true, my lads, I never was known to lie. If you'd been in Darby, you'd have seen him the same as I am. Now, what other parts of his anatomy can I tell you about uh, that you'll be impressed with? Let's see, how about a tail? You want to hear about his tail? All right. This ram, he had the sharpest tail. It dug a hole in the ground. When he began to waggle it, it spun the whole world around. This loosened up his baby teeth. Does anyone have baby teeth here? Does anyone have loose baby teeth? If your baby teeth fell out onto the ground, what would happen? No one would notice, right? Because we got small baby teeth. But when this ram put his tail on the ground and started waggling it, the whole world spun. His baby teeth got loosened up. And they were like ivory towers. When they fell out, they hit the ground and the earth quaked for an hour. Indeed, my lads, it's true, my lads. I never was known to lie. If you'd been in Darby, you'd have seen him the same as I. Hmm, what else? Oh, the wool on this ram's back, my boys. It grew so very high. The eagles came and built their nests, and I heard the young'uns cry. And all the wool on this ram's back, it made him snort and sneeze. When he let loose, he toppled down a hundred loquat trees. And indeed, Lads, it's true, my lads, I never was known to lie. If you'd been in Darby, you'd have seen him the same as I. Now this ram had a giant appetite. I tell ya, the man who fed this ram, my boys, he fed him thrice a day, three times. Every time he opened his mouth, he swallowed a rick of hay. And all the kids in Darby wanted to ride on this ram's back. But the man who fed this ram said, no, he'll think you're just a snack. And indeed, my lads, it's true, my lads. Hop, hop, hop. If you'd been in Darby, you'd have hop, 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 hop. That's the sound of the ram eating a kid. But he didn't have to eat any kids. It's hypothetical, because we kept the kids away from the ram, heeding the man's advice. Now, does anyone have a dog here? You walk the dog? Do you, you walk your dog? You clean up after your dog? Well, picture if you were in charge of this ram, the task at hand. I tell you, the man who walked this ram, my boys, he carried a giant scoop, a shovel the size of a snow plow to clean up this ram's... <laughs> now my song is ended. I got nothing more to say. Give us another box of juice and we'll all of us go away.